Hi, in this video, I'm going to discuss about the configuration of Microsoft Tunnel for Mobile Application Management. Using Tunnel for Mobile Application Management, user don't need to enroll the devices to get access to the corporate resources. That can be your any web URL or the applications. And they can securely access the organization on-premise resources and the application using modern authentication methods, single sign-on and conditional access. Let's go ahead and configure it. Before moving further, let's validate whether my tunnel's gateway server is up and running and can accept the connections. Let's go to tenant administration, my so tunnel gateway. And this is my tunnel gateway server. Let's click on this. And we can see the health of my tunnel gateway server is healthy. The only warning message is related to the two cores because I have two cores assigned to that tunnel gateway server. The next thing what we need to do is to create the application protection profile as well as the application configuration profile for the application we want to use. Let's go to the application and we have application configuration profile. In this demonstration, I will be accessing a URL hosted on my internet server using my Sotal gateway. So I will be creating two configuration profile, one for the Microsoft Edge and the second profile will be for Defender for Endpoint. Defender for Endpoint will be the application we need to install on the Android or the iOS devices and will be used to establish the tunnel from the mobile device to my Sotal gateway. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's create a configuration profile for the managed applications. And the target app will be your defender for endpoint. Click on next. And we don't need to do any configuration changes here. Let's change it to yes and the base VPN. Let's give it a name. Choose a tunnel site and select the public application we'll be using to access the intranet URL. In our case, it will be H. and click on next let's keep it default and i'm going to assign this to my users let's create one more configuration policy for edge and select the target application The name of the configuration setting will be this. This is already available in the documentation and the value of this and the value of this setting will be true. Assign this policy. Click on next and let's create. In the next step, we need to create an application protection policy for Microsoft Tunnel. Let's create a new policy for Android. And let's keep it default and select the public application. Under data protection, you can do the changes as per your requirement. The important thing what you need to configure is start Microsoft Tunnel connection on application launch. If you have this configuration in place, Tunnel will get established automatically once you launch the application. 
let's keep it default and now I'm assigning this to my users great now let's go ahead and validate whether the configurations are working as expected or not now we need at least three applications to be installed on device one the edge browser which will be used to access the intranet portal the second application will be defender for endpoint which will be used to establish the tunnel with the tunnel gateway server and the third application will be company portal application let's go ahead and install those applications now this is the company portal application and let's install edge and let's install defender for endpoint let's wait for applications to be installed company portal is installed edge is installed and mysore defender is installed now let's go ahead and log into edge now add the account Now let's add the account in Mysore Defender application. As you can see, it is trying to connect to Microsoft Tunnel and I am connected to Microsoft Tunnel now. Let's try to access the URL. And as you can see, I am able to access hosted on a web server which is in my data center. I hope this will be informative for you. Please do share and subscribe if you find worth sharing it. Thank you. Have a nice day.